royal fans since I'm about eight years old. So it all started with Princess Diana. And of course, Prince William, her eldest son in New York this week. How does that feel? It's so exciting. I was so depressed because I didn't get to go to Boston. And when I heard he was going to New York City, because I'm from Brooklyn, I like was like, where is he going to be? When is he going to be here? And I rushed in. Yeah. And, um, what is it about, do you think, Prince William and Princess Catherine that Americans find appealing? Um, I think, oh God, I don't even know how to answer this. It's just everything. I think just uh, me being, a, and a lot of people in America, loved Princess Diana. So just seeing Prince William grow up, meet the woman of his dreams and marry and have a family and everything else. And all of the projects that they do are really great. Uh, the mental health initiatives, you know, Princess Catherine with, you know, addiction and children and everything else. I think they just also seem very normal. I think that's what people relate to them too. And they're young. They're, you know, a lot of people relate to them that way too. And who's your favorite royal? Princess Anne. I love Prince William, I love Princess Catherine, but Princess Anne is my favorite. She's no nonsense, she gets, she does her work. She doesn't get as much credit as all the other ones and in the papers are nothing, but she's been doing this for decades and decades and decades and I just, I love her, I love her. But of course the head of the royal family is King Charles and Queen Camilla as well. What do you think Americans think of that? I think it's a mix. I personally love them. I love Charles, I love Camilla. I don't think they get you know, as much respect as they should, but I think it's a mix, but I think more people are warming to them. I do. So you think more people are growing to like them rather than this automatic? Yes, I do. I do. And of course, you have two members of the royal family living in America. You've got Prince Harry and Meghan. How do you think they are perceived in the United States now? I think them t it's, it's a mix. I think there's some people that really hate them, but I think they also have a lot of support here as well. Yeah. And do you think the royal family with William and Catherine, of course, the next generation, Prince George, Charlotte and Louis, do you think they can survive long term? From I think they can. I mean, I'm an American, so I don't know, you know, how people in the UK like truly feel, but I think they can. I And I hate to say it, but I think once William takes the reins, I think it'll be a much different sentiment. I think people want people, I think people want William to skip Charles, even though I think that he's going to be a great king and he is a great king. I think once he gets the reins, I think it, things are going to change and I think they will survive long term. Yeah. Well, I hope you get to see Prince William and I meet him. I hope so too. <laughs> I hope so. I really do. Good luck. Thank you very much.